Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. It's another Help Desk Thursday, and uh, today's Tech Dive TV Help Desk is about sharing your printer when you don't have a wireless or network printer. Um, I got this uh, question from Kelly, and Kelly wants to know, you know, I have a, two computers, and I have my computer, desktop computer has a printer attached to it, and my laptop doesn't have a printer, and since my printer is not a wireless printer, how do I share the printer? So we're going to go ahead and go through that. First, what you have to do is go into your, we're doing it for Windows 7, by the way. First, you have to go into your, your printer devices. So you click your Start button, and then you go into Devices and Printers. And then you'll get your printer display. Once you have your printer display up, right-click on the printer you want to share and choose Printer Properties as it's depicted in this graphic. Once the printer properties screen is displayed, you'll have a tabbed interface. Click on the tab called Sharing, and we'll go ahead and fill out the information for sharing that particular printer from your computer. In the sharing dialog box, all you're going to need to do is click on the share printer button on the little checkbox, name the printer share. Now name it something simple. It'll fill in the actual name of the printer. Sometimes they can be rather long. So I like to shorten it to something that I recognize. Like I have an Epson printer in this example, so I just called it Epson. That makes it easy for me to share and makes it easy for me to find later on. And also there's a checkbox for rendering the printer job on the client computer. You don't want to have them rendering jobs on your desktop computer because it will slow it down. You want them to have to create the print jobs on their own computer so it doesn't slow your computer down because your computer is actually acting as what's called a print server because it's serving up the printer to other computers that it's sharing it with. So once you have the share printer checked, the name of the printer, and the render button checked, you're all set. Just click OK. This printer should now appear as one of the printers on your network. So if you go to add a printer now to your laptop computer, if you go to choose a network printer, it should be listed. If it isn't, for some reason, you can always put the printer in yourself. It's backslash backslash the name of the computer it's on, backslash the name of the share that you created. In this case, it was called Epson. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV Help Desk. Have a great day.